Well, hello again. Don Conroy here. How is all my eco-explorer friends? Ready to do some drawing? Great. Well, of course, once again, I've been invited to do some drawing with you, thanks to SSE Electricity, and of course, their sustainable partners with Dublin Zoo. And by the way, we're going to draw some orangutans today. Dublin Zoo has a wonderful habitat. So have a look, you see all these wonderful creatures. Now I'm sure you've seen these on videos and on TV, wildlife programs. They're amazing creatures, highly intelligent, and they spend nearly all their time living up in trees. And uh, the male comes down occasionally, and he wanders around, but for the most time, for the trees. So, looks a bit like a selfie, doesn't it? <laughs> Not me, no. <laughs> so, are you ready to draw? Great. Pencil ready? So, now, first of all, as I said before, think of shape and form. Don't worry about detail, let's always leave that to the last. So, again, the male I'm drawing uh, first. So, I'm drawing a literally a big round circle like that. And then a more of an oval shape like this. And I'm going to put a line straight down like that. And a line across like that. And I, you, you can do this with a pencil. I'm doing it with a big heavy marker so you can see what I'm doing. And a line down like that. And then I can indicate where I want to put the eyes. Where the nose will be. Where the mouth will be. And the same on the other side, like that. And then the, the shoulders will be sort of halfway up like that. So th this is called mapping it out, doing it very quickly. And just roughly indicate where it, maybe the, <laughs> the arm will be. You got that? Good. Now I'm just going to move it up and then we do, we do the drawing now. I love to try, start drawing the eyes first, but I don't know this, but it's one of the things I like to do. So I'm going to start with a curved line like that and a curved line like that. And then I'm going to kind of have a little triangle effect like that, so up and down like that. And I'm putting a little line either side there like that. And then a curved line underneath like that, the same underneath like that. And then we have the pupils like this, the black, uh, so the semicircles just going under like that. And now the nose, rather interesting shaped nose really. So it goes up like that and down, up and down. And then inside the nostril has that kind of shape. Now, the thing about this amazing uh, creature, the male have these what's called pads along the side of their face, so they look very different to the female. And as, as they grow older, these things grow bigger and bigger. And of course, nearly all the orangutans have very long arms and very, very good, strong hands as well. So I'm going to put a line around like that and line, just kind of finish off the inside of the face. And then I'll put a little curve here, a little curve here, and then a happy one. So a nice big smile going down and up like that. And orangutan actually means the old person of the forest. It's, it's a Malay word. And... Uh, the amazing creatures. So, as I said, the male likes to come down occasionally, walk around on the, on the floor of the forest, but the female and most of the young stay up. And of course, come night time, they have to be very careful uh, with, with predators. You know, they don't want to be attacked. So, so what they do is they build a lovely nest out of branches and they sleep nice and snug and safe up there. One of the main things they like to eat 
the fruit. So they're always out in search for some nice fruit. So that's roughly what the head of the, the male looks like. Now I'll do the female then, and it's, I'm going to this time just to be slightly different. I'm going to start with the, the nose. So you have a curve going up like that, and then another one like that. So two little curves, it's almost like it's uh, the letter th three, the numeral, like that. Now, did you get that? Yeah, good. So again, back up to the eyes, curved line like this, curved line like that. And again, as you see on this side, I'm just putting a little angle either side like this. This is just to make the eyes just a little bit fancier from a cartoon point of view. They can be circles if you want to, but I quite like using these. And again, the black pupils like that. And again, the, the jaw, the top part and the lower part, we need to draw that now. So I'm drawing a little curve up here, just so this side of it. Same on the other side like that. And then we let a curve line go right down like that and back up like that. And then here's, here's the lower lip, just. So they look pretty happy, don't they? As you know, they're, they're covered with hair and the hair keeps growing and, and the male looks like it's got a, a cloak on it sometimes with all this hair over. It's extraordinary. And uh, the female, she, when she's looking at the little baby one, it's clinging on her back and she used to climb all over the forest with this little baby on her back. And she, they're great mothers in that. And of course, it's the second largest uh, of the primates. The biggest being the, the gorilla, of course, from Africa. But these are the second largest. And they're very, as I said, intelligent. I was actually watching a, a wildlife program one, one day about orangutan. And you know what? There was a worker, a man, and he was building something. And he left down his saw to go off and have his lunch. The orangutan picked up the saw and proceeded to cut a log really well. It was just observing the man. So, you yeah. know, it's just very interesting the way they, they uh, observe things and they will mimic them and copy stuff. We do that ourselves, don't we? So, the marvelous thing is that we live in a beautiful planet, such a variety of, of lovely wildlife and natural wonders, and we don't lose any, I'm sure we not. So that's why sustainability is so important, and that, with biodiversity, together, wow, we can continue to have this magnificent planet. So the main thing is to make sure that uh, we we'll just keep that in mind all the time. Now, a few lines down like that. And a little shoulder over there, roughly like that. So it looks like they're leaning into each other. Just nice and relaxed. And they're, they're very sociable. You know the way you love hanging around your family or friends or whoever. Yeah, th these are very sociable as well. So just roughly indicate a few leaves up like that and the same on the other side like that and uh, actually I'll put a few eyebrows in as well and I'll, I'll, I'll angle them upwards so just get the idea so nice happy little expressions now very quickly I'm going to put a little bit of colour uh, and in fact I'll put a tiny bit of black first of all. And imagine uh, if, you, if you're growing a beard, <laughs> uh, they keep growing. They can't go to the barbers, so some of the males end up having very long beards as well. So I'm just going to put this in very quickly. And 
the same on the other side like that. And of course, you can take your time with this. But let's just say, uh, if you want to get to know something, it's, it's great to uh, go and really look at something. And the marvelous thing is, wandering around Dublin Zoo, there's so many wonderful creatures to see, beautiful habitat, and it's uh, fantastic. And I said, I used to spend so much time as a child there, and I uh, used to bring my little sketch pad. And that. Uh, yeah. Put a little bit of colour. Look at me. Sustainability. I'm using a recycled old plate. <laughs> Let's call it palette. So all these little things. <laughs> handy. Now, here's, here's that nice colour. And despite the fact that they're so big, they can blend in so well, of course, in the forest. And for people, it's very hard to actually see them. Uh, but that's the amazing thing about nature. You know? When it wants to be seen, it'll be seen. But when it doesn't want to be seen, it can blend in and suddenly even among all the greenery and everything, these orange colours, you know. Now this, I'm using a little bit of what's called burnt sienna colour here. And a little tiny bit of orange and a tiny bit of yellow, so I'm mixing them up. Just to give an idea. But again, uh, this is just to show you how to draw uh, a nice funny version of these wonderful creatures. And, uh, you can take your time doing it. And just put a little bit of green there. And a little bit of green there. So I don't know what it's like out there in the outer space, but we're very lucky to have such a magnificent planet. And we're all in here together, aren't we? That's wonderful. Well, listen, it's been great fun drawing with you and I really enjoyed your company. And don't forget, keep drawing, have fun and uh, look around because there's wonderful things to see. And the old saying is, try and learn something new every day. So I'll leave you with my original picture. Stick it back up there. <laughs> A selfie, three of us. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>